I'm Michael Emans. I'm the artistic director of Rapture Theatre and I'm the director of Last Yankee, the second in our two Miller plays to celebrate the centenary of Arthur Miller, perhaps one of our greatest playwrights. The Last Yankee deals, like so many of Miller's plays, with the idea and the notion of the pursuit of the American dream and the consequences if you fail, in inverted commas, to achieve the American dream. Also in this play, he links this failure or not to achieve the riches that the American dream offers to the idea of depression. And he asks the question, is depression a chemical imbalance or a scientific problem? Or is it more to do with a person's reaction to society and how they themselves have been affected by society and perhaps how they themselves feel that they have fared within society? Perhaps something was expected of them that they didn't achieve. And as a result of that, they have ended up um, suffering from depression and mental illness. So it raises a lot of questions about um, the idea that depression is not so much to do with the person, but to do with the wider society. So it's quite a heavy play. It's quite an intense piece, but it's also very humorous. It's got lots of humour in it, lots of very witty one-liners as well. So it's a perfect balance between drama and comedy. And to achieve that perfect balance in production, what I've looked for in the actors are four actors who can achieve that balance between the comedy on one hand and the drama on the other. So we've got a nice mixture of four good, strong actors. We have David Tarkenter and Pauline Turner, who audiences would have seen in All My Sons, our other Miller play to celebrate the centenary. And alongside David and Pauline, uh, we are joined by Stuart Porter. Stuart is a well-known face to people who have seen our work in the past. He was a, he played the lead role of Bill McWilliam in The Sash, and he also appeared in the play Shang Lang, which was very popular with our audiences as well. Alongside Stuart, we have Jane McCary. Jane played opposite Stuart in The Sash, and she has also worked with the company on several occasions. Jane's perhaps best known for her appearances as Isa, the nosy neighbour in Still Game. But along with that, Jane has a very, very good, strong theatre CV, and she is a very good, strong, dramatic actress. And it was this role that attracted her back into the theatre. This is my third job for Rapture. We did The Sash before, and Last of the Red Hot Lovers before that. So I really enjoy working for the theatre company and Michael always cast me in a part that people maybe wouldn't be used to seeing me play. And the other two parts did have comedy. This one's different, this is quite straight. But all of the characters are quite different and I've always had to use an accent. So I don't know whether maybe <laughs> I wouldn't get a job for Rapture unless I put on an Irish accent or an American accent or something. So it's always challenging. My character is described as very, very thin. So when Michael offered it to me, I said, are you sure? Are you sure you've not got mixed up? Is it, not, is it not the other character or something else? But he said, no, 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 this will be really good and it'll be challenging and, and it's just really interesting. I've always loved Arthur Miller and I went to see All My Sons, which Rapture are doing just now, and I absolutely loved that. So this is the first time I've had an opportunity to do an Arthur Miller play. So I'm really, really excited about it. Fantastic cast. Michael's fantastic. Uh, we're having great fun. And I just can't wait to get on tour and get the show on the road, as they say. So it's a wonderful cast of familiar faces, familiar to theatre audiences, familiar to TV audiences. And we're thrilled to bring such quality actors and such a quality production to venues across Scotland in 22 different venues, from Inverness to Selkirk and from Irvine to Peebles, across the whole of Scotland. We're absolutely thrilled by it. And we're looking forward to bringing it to a venue near you and we hope you can join us for what we feel would be an exciting night at the theatre. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.